Oh, so that's how you hold the guitar. <laughs> how are you doing? Today I will show you how to play Corduroy Dreams by Rex Orange County. This song was requested by all these people, thank you all so much for your comments. So yeah, first I will of course show you how to play the song with the tabs over here. I found them on Ultimate Guitar. I only had to make some small adjustments, but yeah, that's how I got them and they're quite accurate, I think. Yeah, first I will do that and then I will show you how to play some more difficult parts in more detail. And then I will also talk about some fun techniques Rex Orange County uses in this song. Yeah, check out my Instagram so you can vote which song I do next. Check out my second channel as well, I will put a link and all that in the description. I will just upload the cover there, so if you just want to sing alone, you can check that out as well. Yeah, feel free to suggest a new song as well, don't forget to subscribe first. And also, that's really it. Uh, I, oh, <laughs> and uh, also I want to give a huge thank you to Achievement for becoming a patron on my Patreon page. Thank you so much for supporting me in this way. But yeah, that's really it, let's get into this song. The song is just in standard tuning, you don't have to use a capo or anything like that, so we can go directly into the song. So as you could see that's how to play the song, uh, most of the time the tabs speak for themselves but I will explain some uh, parts of the tabs in a little bit more detail now. Uh, first of all, the, all the, the verses are really based around this. And sometimes they differ because he adds his, he puts his pinky 
slides it like this or he adds some other things but that's really the base progression of the verse and basically in the verses and in the whole song really he only uses his four fingers so his thumb, his index finger, his middle finger and his ring finger so he just his thumb he uses for the bass notes and his other three fingers for the rest of the chord and sometimes he strings it like this you can also try to get a bit creative with that progression so also you have this thing that he does a lot where he mute hits the string really like this and to do that you just gotta play the chord first and then you hit the strings like this and basically you you can hit them with your with the with this part of your fingers or with your fingers that's totally up to you as long as you you really hit the strings you can relax your left hand to make it a bit easier but like that you like this you do, you do it like that really so that's the thing he does a lot and those are the X's that you see in the tab it's this and you basically just as I said hit the strings but not pull them but just hit them with your hand like this or like this you can it's it's all the same sound but yeah you can find your way of doing it and the other thing I wanted to talk a bit about is that sometimes he hits the strings like this and sometimes like this and you can choose by yourself which one you like best you can alternate with it but what he does sometimes is he plays the chord like this and then I think he creates this wavy effect and he does that by really stretching his guitar backwards, which sounds very weird, but uh, McDemarco also uses that technique sometimes. What you basically can do, you can do this technique always to add a bit more flavor to your play, if you can say it like that. You're really bending your guitar a bit, but be careful, don't push too hard. It's, it's a very, yeah, delicate move, if that's the right word, but don't push your guitar too hard. That's really the thing. You can do to to make it a bit more wavy don't always do it and then you're, you're really pushing this part to towards yourself like this and you're pushing this part towards yourself with your elbow so and you get this well effect that i can imitate very well but you know what i mean you're really pushing this part against your stomach by pushing this and this part backwards. Um, but yeah, you can add it in. And you can also decide how much you want to create a wave. Because if you do it fast, you get this. Or you can do. Like that. But don't do it too hard. I don't want you to break your guitar because of me. Do it very carefully. And don't. If you don't get a that this effect don't think that you're not pushing hard enough because you probably are but it's just all about finding the right spot really uh, and don't do it too much because it isn't really that good for your guitar i think to bend it a lot like that i'm not too sure if he uses this technique of bending the guitar but it's still a nice thing to do anyways if you like to in any song and make the marco does this uh, technique as well in Ode to viceroy i think i also if you watch that video, I also explain this technique a bit. Anyways, um, yeah, that's really, the tabs mostly speak for themselves. There's one thing in the outro that I would like to show you how to play. Oh, well, it's not really, it's also this small, nice technique that he uses. It's he, the last E bass note he plays, he, he detunes it shortly with his left hand. So he just... He plays this E note and then he detunes it quickly um, and tunes it back quickly as well. So what he does is this. Uh, it's a really nice little thing he does there. Black Sabbath also does it in uh, Iron Man. It's a very fun way of adding something extra to your playing. This tuning your snares very quickly. So yeah, that's really everything I wanted to say about the tabs of this song. So that's how to play the song. I hope everything was clear. Thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, feel free to suggest a new song. Don't forget to subscribe first. And uh, I hope to see you the next time. Thank you so much.